Here today we're going to try out the new rock tumbler. We've got some stainless steel uh, pallets in there, which is what it came with. This is just an El Cheapo off eBay. I was good, had it given to me because I've always been too slack to buy one myself and instead I've spent hours and hours on end trying to clean dirty rings just like all of these with not much success. Drop these coins in here and we'll see how we go. This is uh, our one and two dollar currency coins. And you can see they're pretty dirty. Some of them might come back up shiny again and um, let's have a look. So we'll pop these bad boys in there. Oh, I must say too, I've been using the rock tumbler and it is fairly fun, fairly fast, very easy to use. So what I've been doing and what I've found best is you fill it up just below half. Yeah, just below half. Put a splash of, um, only a little splash of dishwashing liquid. It, if you put too much in there it just becomes a frothy nightmare. Make sure that lid's nice and make sure there's nothing around here so it leaks. Make sure the lid's on there good. Tuck this up through there. And that there tightens the lid up. So you can push it straight on here. And hit. That's the timer there, which is basically your go button. It's on currently on pause. If you hit that button, it'll rotate backwards and then forwards, but I like it just going one way. Maybe it will help the engine life. And then I'll take it off, pause, and we'll go. Looks like a hamster wheel. Alright. Had two one hour sessions, and it's been sitting in its second wash. First session was an hour session, second session was an hour session, and this is how dirty the water's got. This is the one and two dollar coins. I'll show you how I've found the best way to do this is. is um, Simply just slip that out, let that drop down on the ground. Run it through the strainer, see how dirty this water is. As I said, two hours to get them to where they are now. That water is filthy. I'm liking the look at that. Look at those coins! Awesome. Hey, that's like new. Give them a quick rinse off in some fresh water, but almost don't need to. There's a two dollar coin there that had the black uh, circle through it. Let's see if we can find it. See if it actually. See that one there is a bit black, eh? But considering these are two hours worth of electricity, which is not much using that little motor there. Yeah, there it is. It didn't even wear off the paint. See mine on that one. And the rest of them are 100% like new, nearly. I don't even see one worn one in here. Remember this, I tried cleaning this by hand. You can see how I couldn't get into the, the back sections and it looks rusty. That is silver, each third link's actually stamped silver. It's fairly old and that was the best I could clean that by hand. And that, I was hours at that. And I reckon if I put that in there, that'll turn out just like this. And that was only 15 minutes in there. So let's have a look. In goes that, in goes the rings, and Ooh. chains, and lockets, and pendants, and rings with stones in them. I haven't had any problems yet with rings with stones in them, I probably will here, but we'll soon see. Why can't you put the coins in there as well? Well, there's a three kilo, yeah, I'll throw a couple in there, I don't see why not. There's not a, um, well you reckon them coins are of the same standard? Yeah, why not? This would be an interesting wash. Alright, this is all I'm going to put in it. Half it with water. A little bit of a splash of that. It's half of it. I'll probably give it a wash out in about an hour. And then another wash out later on tonight. And I'll show you guys tomorrow after it's had two, maybe three out, one hour sessions. And so hopefully we've got some nice clean coins and some nice wearable jewellery. Alright, we'll pop the lid on. It's pretty easy, I don't mind this little tool, eh? Very straightforward. Once you get the thread right, and you know how much the thread is, so you're not putting too much pressure down on the O-ring, you want to feel about tension about there, and then it'll, there it'll stop, and then you just push it over. Check for some leaks. Not looking too bad. Watch how fast this water goes dirty. It's changing already. Can you get it in from the side? Yeah, 
I'm going to play that down anyway. That's too fast. I found that if you have it spinning so fast, each of these edges here, it only cleans um, in the edges and it skips all through here. So it could be damaging the coins, throwing them from corner to corner. So for things like coins and stuff you don't want to damage. Maybe different for rocks, you just want it to go slowly, it'll roll around in there. And you can see it sort of is actually rolling around in there. I like the fact that he uses a band. Yeah, it's not too bad, it comes with a replacement band and it comes with a replacement o-ring as well. Okay. I left that spinning last night, <clears throat> it's probably had about three hours about three hours washing, so it's about three washes that I've put it through. This is um, the fourth. Uh, the water's not getting very dirty anymore, so that's silver. Alright, let's have a look at everything. There's still a coin in the bottom there. Oh, don't do that. Still three coins in the bottom. Let's have a look at what we got here. I lay it all down here. So yeah, I'm very, 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 very happy. Well, there's another chain. Oh, this is the chain I was talking about. This is the one that's got the little stamps on each second or third link, saying 925 or something. That come up very nice. That's a very old chain too. It's got hallmarks of a line and stuff on it, that one there. Shows the true beauty of silver when it's clean, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's not even polished. That looks pretty good in there too, look at that. Yeah, this is all dirty silver. So I'm very happy, it saves me a lot of work and yeah, thumbs up to the rock tumbler. We're gonna try these ones here next. All this dirty silver, which is even dirtier. I'll pop, pop, I'll just pop it in there, what the hell. This is all the really, really filthy, filthy silver, even broken up bits. So. You can see that, and I get a nice picture of that, it's absolutely really nice. I have to do a bit of sorting there. Actually, another cool thing I'll show you, um, oh look at that. See these little rings here? If you do, do the hobby for long enough, you end up with a lot of these little heart rings with little stones in them, eh? I have got, I could not even imagine how to tell you how many of these things that I've picked up over, or how many of these things we have picked up over the years. They just keep coming and coming. Very popular ring, I suppose. Made a lot of them. Yeah, they're all slightly different. Um, okay. That's probably too much. I'll just use a little bit less water. Just below half point. Yes, that'll do. Oh, hang on. <coughs> Whoops. Yeah, and you see these little bearings everywhere? These little uh, stainless steel shot. Be careful not to drop them everywhere like what I have been. Yeah, they uh, end up everywhere and I'll probably end up with none eventually. So be a little bit more careful than what I'm being. It'd be hard to get all of them too, so. Oh, no, you can buy them online. It's just that they're fairly expensive. Half a kilo is like uh, $50 or something, so. They're worth, they're worth their money. It's good stainless and it doesn't break down like the stainless steel nails that we had the other day. We tried to put stainless steel nails that we bought from Bunnings in there. Proper stainless and it broke down, went yellow. And it turned the water into a mash, into like a distilled nightmare and it just a thick yellow brew and it destroyed everything just about. So and it took about three or four washes after that just to get it back to where it was. So use the proper designated stainless stuff for these. Yeah, it must be a good quality stainless. Yeah. There's another one there. I reckon there's enough lead shot in there. Yeah, should be right. <clears throat> get it, get it started anyway. Um, pop it on. Yeah, right, very good. Here was some filthy black silver here, and um, it's probably clocked up so far. So 10 hours of use. This is our little device here, and I'm having no problems with it. It seems to be running really good, and it's doing a really good job cleaning everything to a high level. Like those spending coins there, they were all unusable, they're unspendable and definitely wouldn't have been acceptable for the bank to, um, to accept any of them. All these pennies were ready for the bin and uh, now some of them you might look like they're actually worth keeping, not all of them, but some of them. All this was filthy black 
rubbish. It was all ready for the bin, all ready for melting down. <clears throat> anyway, we'll have a look. This is pretty much the final wash. It's still fairly dirty, but final wash on even dirtier, dirtier silver than that. Let's have a look what we got. I did say that there was a, there's a couple of coins in the bottom there. Just thinking about doing that. Um, yeah, so here we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So it looks like um, even the really, really bad silver here. you just got to give it more time, more thorough washes. And uh, it looks like it comes up almost just as good as... Well, you can see how worn it is. That's not from being in a rock tumbler. That's just from being worn because it's been found on the, um, in the salt water. This chain was something that I was really curious to... Uh, it's a nightmare of a mess. Anyway, that chain's very nice. A couple of chains there. I never thought I'd get that ring ever clean. Yeah, so if you guys have been metal detecting for a few years out there and you have got a big collection of black silver and you've never really been able to successfully clean it, um, this is uh, definitely give this a shot. Um, it'd be crazy not to because I've tried all the different slot, different methods. Hey, that's heavy. I wonder if that's silver. I've tried all of the different methods and I haven't had much luck until I uh, tried this method here using the rock tumbler. So I'm very happy with it. It's uh, very good. Oh, the coins came out pretty good too, didn't they? Yeah, they do get shiny and then they tarnish a little bit. I'll notice that with the dollar and two dollar coins, but... It's about, what, fifty dollars there or something? I think there might have been more than that, I'm Under, sure. Yeah, maybe. And they're really old pennies. Yeah. And just, you know, remember guys, all of these coins and stuff, they're not of valuable dates, they're not of a high quality. These are all things that I thought was genuinely ready for the bin. So this stuff here, the silver and the pennies, all of it, none of it's valuable, none of it's special dates. It was all stuff that was going to get thrown out. And this has just absolutely amazed me because it proved that you can re-get life out of them again. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool.